So today, a little ramble on the truth about acceptance. I remember when I first sort of got into spiritual conversations and things like that, that I heard people say, you know, just accept it and you'll feel okay. In fact, I had one particular situation that was a... <laughs> That was a very pressing one, it felt to me at the time. And that was that my ex-husband um, had moved next door to the house next door. And that um, I thought that was a temporary stopgap situation for me. And it wasn't <laughs> because he's still there. <laughs> 10, 11 years later, actually 11 years later, literally today or tomorrow, it'll be 11 years since he moved next door. And and I remember somebody saying to me, you know, you'll feel a lot better about that if you just <laughs> accept it. And um, that was really annoying, I, I found at the time. And, and I think that's because, you know, why is it, why does it feel really, um, it rubs us up the wrong way when somebody says, oh, you know, just accept that. And that is because it's not actually possible. I was... Um, Try, I tried to go for a walk this morning, but um, as some of you will know, I've uh, broken my wrist <laughs> and sprained my ankle. And I um, I tried to go for a little walk, but that didn't go so well because I, I, I'm, I was in Spain last week, so I could just wear Crocs and go for a walk. I can't get any shoes on my feet that don't hurt. So I'm not sure about going for Crocs in no, out for a walk in Crocs in November. Anyway, as we were walking, we saw um, a mum with a, a couple of little children and the little boy was a bit over giddy on his way and they were just round the corner from school. So she was saying, you need to calm down now, you need to calm down. And after we went round the corner, I said to Bruce, my fiancé, I said, well, how funny is that, that people think a child can calm themselves down? And how does a child do that? Like, how does anybody do? How does anybody do that calming down thing? But particularly not for a little child. And I think saying, saying just accept it is of a similar ilk to that. It, it's of a similar nature. We can't just accept it, can we? Now, that doesn't mean that we can't end up in a place where we seem to be accepting more things. But we can't do it. It's not It's not really a verb. It's used as a verb, obviously, you know. And you can accept some things, like you could accept payment <laughs> for something. Um, you know, it works in that regard. But this whole idea of just almost being able to switch something within us, like there even is a switch there, being able to switch something with others so that then all of a sudden... We, we can accept something. It's just nonsense. It's just actual, complete and utter nonsense that we, we can actually do that. Because who... So let's just say, you know, in the conversation that I have with people, it's often around how we're thinking about things, what, you know, what, what you know, how our um, experience of something can really change when our thinking about it changes, of course. But if we're, we've got thoughts that are not helpful about a particular situation, because that's what we're saying, aren't we? We're saying change your thinking, really. You know, if we're accepting something, if we're accepting something, change your thinking, have better thinking about it, and then it'll feel okay. But who who could do that? Can do we do we have that? Like, can we find some different thinking? Do we have like a shelf we go to inside our heads where we can just collect better thinking about this situation and then accept it? It's just nonsense, isn't it, really, when you think about it? That's thought trying to fix thought again, which is super unhelpful. And um, I, I was chatting to a lady actually at the event I was at um, last week, at the Viva event, which is absolutely beautiful experience. And I was chatting to a lady who was talking about something that she was struggling with. And she just said, oh, I just need to accept it, don't I? And I said... So how how would you how would you go about doing that? How how can you how does that work? Can can we actually do that? So what I'm saying here is that we can't just make ourselves accept it. However, I think that there is a natural 
that that is something naturally that happens when we're in this kind of conversation in this sort of transformational conversation where we're looking to you know transform our experience or we we what what we're learning is transforming our experience and and that i definitely have seen there are some parts of my life that just don't look as problematic i mean it's often some people in my life <laughs> rather than anything else you know like those people i i seem to be accepting them better than i was their behavior doesn't look as problematic i feel a lot more compassion for them they can send the same messages or style of messages that they used to send and now when i read them i'm just a bit like oh you know i can kind of see where it's coming from and it just doesn't feel I don't feel as um, revved up inside, I suppose, about that. And and there's a few things that I think are are helpful um, in moving us in that direction. You know, it it's really about understanding our experience and how it is created moment by moment via this this internal system that it isn't created by an external system that we don't that the outside world isn't making us feel those things and that we start to become much more an awareness i think realizing that we are who we really are is this awareness is really really important so i i've been i've been struggling for a little while actually with with my weight you know i'm probably at least uh, i haven't been on the scales for a while but i just know my body isn't the the size i want it to be probably a couple of stones worth of of that and i just actually during the event during the viva event i just started to notice how many times a day my mind made it about my weight made just something i saw in my environment almost acting like and the triggers aren't from the outside in but I would see something in my environment and and the story about my weight would would come in you know that per you know or a story about weight that person's overweight bigger than me that person's slimmer than me that person can do things because they're slimmer than me that curse person has more acceptance because they're they're slimmer than me and Probably if I'd be coming from the just accept it kind of, well, just accept your weight exactly as it is. Just, you know, just kind of get over it and then it will be fine. And what I'm seeing happening is I'm just noticing that there is, you know, there is some thinking that comes up frequently about weight. And from this place of awareness, there's just a less, there's less frustration, there's less, um fighting against it there's just more of this oh isn't that interesting isn't that interesting that my mind has a story about you know a story related to my weight about so many things that have nothing at all to do with my weight and how you know how really interesting um that is to see and from that place, it seems to me, from this place of noticing the thinking about it, that I don't feel as bothered about it. It feels more that I'm moving towards accepting because I'm just seeing and believing less, I think, all that thinking about my weight, all that stuff that I think is to do with my weight is, you know, becoming less and less, seeming less and less to be true. And of course, it is believing things that isn't, that aren't true, that make us feel like we're not in a place of acceptance with something. But acceptance is not something for you to do. Acceptance is something that happens. Um, and I, I have a course that um, the reason I'm talking about this today is I have a course on, on Insight Timer that's called Beyond Just Accept It. And I've had a few questions in it recently. So I've been answering the questions and it's been really, really interesting to kind of re 
visit that course because I had questions to answer in the course classroom and insight timer and I went back and just um yeah just reflected on that a little bit and thought that it might be something helpful to share here because the other thing about it is you know with anything where we we think we're supposed to be changing ourselves it just gives us a whole lot more thinking a whole lot more to do that there's a there's a, almost like a heaviness around it you know and if we are you know wanting to live life from a more peaceful place there's something about seeing how much thinking takes us away from that how much you know well if I could just accept that if I can make myself accept that if I can make myself do that it's so tiring to be thinking that that's your job that it's your job to make yourself accept something and none of us need any more thinking about that kind of thing we really don't it's, it's just it's not pointing us really to who we truly are you know we are awareness I find that to be I find that to be true I was talking to some people um at this event I've just been to at Viva and they were saying we were talking about um you know how simple it can be to just be just aware if we're just awareness that's it like and we, we live our lives more and more looking in that direction. And, and you can't accept it, isn't, it's not really a verb. It's not really a verb. So, um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. I, I don't think we just need any more things to do, really. I don't know about you, I've got enough on. <laughs> without, without having to insert making myself accept things into the day. So, that's me for today. Um absolutely uh, hope you found that helpful um yeah let me know in the comments if you did and uh, i'll check those out okay thank you so much for being with me here today take care lots of love